aren't we getting some remarkable help of late? Help that enables us to feel more safe, more secure in a world that to many is extremely unsafe. One of my favourite psalms speaks a weeny bit about help. And the first part of Psalm verse 1 says, I lift my eyes to the hills. And then he goes on to ask a question. And the question is, where does my help come from? Our favourite place is the Lake District. And the reason for that is for the number of hills. Hills of all sorts of different shapes and sizes. But there are so many hills in just such a short geographical space. And we'll often go walking and there will be engraved on a, a seat somewhere. This very first verse of Psalm 121. Where does my help come from? Or to start with, I lift my eyes to the hills. When the psalmist was writing this, he lived in an age where the um, the people of that day would build these whacking great big statues of their God. And they would put these statues on the tops of hills. Those statues may be made of stone, of wood, of clay. They might be in the shape of a human being or a, a strange part of a human being. They might be part human and part animal, all animal. Or they might be just like an obelisk. And when people would walk um, along the valleys, as it were, they would look up to those hills and they would then believe that they could connect with that statue <clears throat> because somehow that was an image of their God. And as they were able to do that, they would feel some sense of protection, some sense of provision, some sense of safety and security. And when the psalmist was writing this, in a sense, what he was doing was he was saying to the crowd, you think that these gods made out of, uh, out of stone and wood and clay can help you. But he was denying all of their different faith objects and saying that there is only one to whom can help you. And I happen to know him. I've developed a relationship with him and he is the maker of heaven and earth. You know, as Christians, we are so privileged and we are in that privileged position of being able to have instant access into God, straight into his listening ear, straight into his open arms. And we're able to seek him for help. And he is the one who is constantly providing and protecting us and giving us safety and security. Sometimes we see it and sometimes we don't. The symbol, of course, of a Christian is the cross. The cross to whom we look upon as we see the death of Jesus Christ. The one who we see sacrifice. The one who we see as the resurrected. The one who we see as ascended the one to whom that we can turn to for help. And as we turn to him for help, for whatever help it is that we need, he is there immediately helping us in some way or another. And all we have to do is to stand back and wait to see the evidence of the help that he's providing, be that come through a human being or an email or Facebook or through a phone call or even sometimes direct from God straight into our heart. One way or another, he is providing help. So let's enjoy keeping on turning to him and let's continue to praise him when we recognise the help that he has provided. So before I go, just to mention that tomorrow we're Sunday online at St Mary's in South West. And then on Tuesday, well, it seems that we've got parish news all over again. Let's wait and see what items of news and updates we've got uh, next Tuesday. In the meantime, God bless and see you tomorrow. <laughs>